Hi boys and girls, how are you today? Good. Today's story is all about bees. I know, I know. Some of you are afraid of bees because they sting. But they have so many other important jobs that you might not be aware of. I hope you enjoy this story because you will learn so much about bees and I think you might appreciate them just a little bit more. I know I did. Give Bees a Chance, Pictures and Words by Bethany Barton. Give Bees a Chance, Words and Pictures by Bethany Barton. This is my best buddy, Edgar. We love all the same things, like board games and dinosaurs, strawberries and honey, and of course, bees. Except that I, I don't really like bees. Sure you do. Didn't I tell you there are about 25,000 different kinds of bees to love? Maybe. And then I told you all about the three types of honeybees. Queens, large, fertile, female, job, make all the baby bees. There's just one per hive. Drones, large males with no stinger. Their job, find a queen to mate with. And workers. Small, sterile females with stingers. Job, everything else. Gather nectar, pollen, water, make honey, feed baby bees, build and protect the hive, make royal jelly, and feed the queen, and more. Oh, get them away from me. Whew, thanks. Like I was saying, I don't like bees. But why? Mostly because of their stingers and attached venom sacs, which are the cause of painful bee stings. That part you told me last week. But that was just one bee. Couldn't you still give bees a chance? Last Sunday, Edgar, brave tears, the ouch, super mean bee, the stinger. Maybe I just need to remind you how weird and cool a honeybee's anatomy is. Five eyes, two stomachs, four wings, six legs, stinger, ouch. Maybe you just need some time to get to know them? How about millions of years? You know, bees lived with dinosaurs, and even ancient Egyptians kept bees. In fact, honey from bees was found in Egyptian tombs, and it was still edible. Oh, honey. Perfect. Maybe you just need some honey. Bees make honey. Why are you telling me all this stuff? So you'll give bees a chance. Once you learn how great they are, you're bound to fall in love with them. Check out Honey is Made. A bee gathers nectar from flowers. Nectar goes into a special honey stomach called a crop. Contents of the crop are spit up into a new bee's mouth. The new bee breaks down the sugars of the nectar within her own crop. This processed nectar is passed along to several more bees who each break down the nectar in their crops until it becomes honey. Then the honey gets barfed into a honeycomb cell and fanned by the wings of bees to evaporate moisture. Lastly, it's sealed with beeswax to keep it safe until it's eaten. Did you say barf? Just one pound of honey takes two million flowers and thousands of bees to create. Ah, too many bees! Blow gently on bees to make them scatter. It looks like I haven't convinced you just yet. Nope, because they're all going to sting me. Oh, well, bees do sting sometimes, but not because they're mean. Stinger stories. Bees only sting to defend themselves. You look delicious back off, or to avoid getting squished or smashed. In fact, many bees lose their stinger after attacking, which is sort of like your hand disappearing if you pinch your sister. Also, wait, what are you wearing? Bee armor? That's not going to work. It was designed for dragons. I think it can handle bees. Well, there is a kind of armor that beekeepers wear. But it looks quite a bit different. It allows them to collect honey and beeswax without getting stung by startled bees. 
You know, I love honey, but I'd be willing to give it up forever to never see a bee again. But giving up bees means giving up so much more than just honey. Bees have a big impact on the food chain. You see, in order for plants to grow fruits and vegetables, they need the right ingredients, sun, water, pollen. A major ingredient they need is pollen. But since flowers can't move, they can't always get pollen from each other. That's where bees fly in. A bee's fuzzy body catches pollen from flowers. Pollen falls into the next flower the bee visits. They act as a pollen delivery service, helping give flowers the ingredients they need. A single bee can visit over 1,000 flowers a day, making bee pollination powers unparalleled, which means without bees, there'd be a lot less yummy stuff to eat. And bees are disappearing in large numbers. Bees actually need our help. Okay, I take it back. I don't want bees gone. I even sort of want to help them, as long as they don't sting me. Planting bee-friendly flowers is a great way to help the bee population. Won't that just attract more bees? Hopefully, yes. But just approach a bee like you would a dog you don't know. Don't get too close and don't try to touch it unless you're a flower. It should lose interest and fly away. And if more people like you give bees a chance, they might just have, well, a chance to make the whole world a sweeter place. Now, have I told you how much I love bears? <laughs>